Well, hello there. Welcome back to part two of my trying not to epically fail beast adventure. Um, as you can see, I managed to hit level 70 and unlock my second um, beast. Now, because I did that, it actually triggered the God's Blessing, uh, which allowed me to buy out some of the equipment that you can run on your beast. Um, I'm going to try it without that first to see whether or not that uh, impacts anything. Um, it probably will uh, <laughs> in terms of it, but I want to see if I can push past just by leveling up my characters and by having the um, second beast. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but basically... I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Um, these pesky little pills, though. You need lots of these pills to level these guys up. Um, slowly but surely, progressing in terms of getting the mechanical bird. But I guess before we go any further, we should probably talk about what the uh, mechanical ox does. If so, if you don't already know, when your hero dies, <clears throat> it uh, basically does... Uh, Damage that ignores defense to front low front row enemies, uh, and it can only trigger once. So it's kind of like a counter. If someone dies, then this guy comes out and he basically he runs in there, and yeah, he got the little demo screen. Not bad. Now, in terms of um, you know, viability, I feel like Lynx is a little bit more practical because when a enemy drops below sixty percent. He attacks in a column damage, obviously hitting that, uh, most, in most instances, he hits two, uh, two targets and he can probably kill them. Like he hits pretty high. Uh, he ignores defense as well. Um, so he's, he's pretty cool. I like Lynx. He's a bit of a demo. <clears throat> so he attacks both in a row, um, which is good specifically because our, our nation, the old warlords here, uh, <laughs> They don't really have a lot of bursty damage. They like to hit lots of people at the same time. Um, but all the suggestions, all the comments, love that. Keep that up. Um, I will. I, I'll try to. I'll try to implement as many as I possibly can within the shortest amount of time uh, to see if that's what will be enough to get through. Uh, sadly, uh, one person suggested that I get the legendary avatar and it boosts my power by twelve million. I love that. Unfortunately, <clears throat> it's actually not possible to do that without spending about a thousand Australian dollars uh, just for one avatar. Uh, there's no other way to get it. But I do. I did manage to get the epic one from a paper charm from the transformation event. Uh, if you saw that video, awesome. Um, I went along when I got Yuji again because uh, Dong Zhao is not available except in the wishing area. So. Eh, is what it is. I like him. I, I preferred him over the other kind of heroes. Granted, I could have picked any other nation, but I kind of want to keep it Warlord, if that makes sense. Um, I might change my mind when it comes to legendaries, though, later on. Probably will. Uh, branch out and maybe pick a different nation's one. But I'll have to do some investigation as to what one I should buy, if that's the, if that's the case. Now, in terms of another strategy, one uh, John Gentleman, I believe, uh, said maybe it's because your characters are just weak uh, in terms of your power, your power level might be high, but your characters themselves um, might just be too weak in order to do the content. That's a pretty valid assessment. Um, I, don't, I don't know if there's too many areas in which I can improve overall power of my characters um but we get we'll give it a go we'll give it a go um they're not uh, well, not all of them are at level 70 so there is that unfortunately you just you don't ever seem to get enough experience um which is annoying <laughs> at least i don't i don't know where all my experience goes to be honest just leveling up these characters but uh, we can try a couple of things before we jump in to do an attempt so that we can, you know, I like to take into consideration what everybody says. So let's pull out some, oh, I didn't get anything. Sometimes you get lucky with those ones. Um, 
Advanced Relic Chest, I guess we can clear out our bag. Let's just do that. Uh, we might get a, an epic. Oh, we did. We got a scripture. Nice. So, 1 in 10, we got a scripture. I like that. Um, I might just keep that for when we actually go and do those advancements. Uh, in terms of shards, where are we at with shards? I'll just keep throwing it at the Conqueror Helm so I can get my protagonist up there. Now, I wanted to, uh, to look at potentially your affinity, Dong Zhao. I believe I was working towards a plan of getting this lovely lady, and I'm only really... Hmm, I'm only five off, so... Why don't we go into, where's my, not that one, where's my heroes, there they are, Way Nation, you, I could probably get you from the Blitz, right, will it let me pick you out of here though? Maybe, because you are an elite. Alright. We'll just do it the easy way. We'll get her out of here. So, the affinity for her should be good. Zhenji. She's a healer as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, we'll do some player index. Activate that. Yada, 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 yada. But the main thing I wanted to do was run her in the reserves. Uh, as you saw, we just had one slot that opened up, and then we got the affinity, which is amazing. 25% extra health. I will take that any day of the week. Um, I think that was the basicest one you could do <laughs> in terms of progress. Um, I might be able to do some other things. Uh, I guess we can work on leveling up some of these. We'll do some engraving. Uh, although, although, before I jump ahead and engrave there, let's just check to see what engravings I've got on these guys. Alright, so, nothing, nothing too severe. So, we can engrave this one. Um, let's go and grab some of this out. Relic, basic relic crystals. Although technically gear probably would be better. Uh, if you, if you, I think we can get away with 11 of those uh, for this one. Yeah. So we can do some of those because you get the additional bonus of HP and evasion. Now, do I want to build some of you? Prime Minister seals. I'm not entirely sure that would actually do anything too, too significant. So I might just leave that behind the scenes. Um, ooh, I guess we could look at combos. Is there anything here that we can do? Oh, yeah, yeah, 125 for you. Oh, that's a bit expensive. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, mm, do I have a healer combo? I do... I'm working on the volley. I will unlock the healer combo. So thank you for that suggestion there uh, in the side quests. I actually have to progress in my um, chapters to unlock that. I kind of stopped after a certain point, um, but I probably will spend the majority of my SP advancing on a lazy day. Being a Saturday and it's raining, I probably will do that at some point today. Um, why do I have titles? Okay. Right. Equip. Okay. Whatevs. Okay. All right. Before I confuse myself too fur too much further with all of that. Um. Is there anything else that I want to do? Let's do some engraving. D. 
There we go. Um, we don't have to refine anymore. I think we're good to go. I think we're set. There's nothing really that I can obtain. I have to push all of this again to be able to unlock the uh, side quest for the healing. I would definitely, definitely be doing that at some point today, um, just pushing through. So thank you for that suggestion. In terms of beast upgrading, I don't have any other resources except for the equipment. But we're going to try without equipping it to begin with, um, just because I kind of want to keep it relatively achievable if anyone else runs into the same situation that I'm in. Uh, where they can't progress uh, without having to spend money, uh, or uh, I guess on a budget. Um, we can go over here. Let's challenge this guy. Uh, Formation-wise, uh, we'll try it out here. We'll try it, we'll try it like this. Uh, we'll see how we go. Might just slow it down a little bit. Now I will be the Swordmaster slot 1 just for the overall damage buff. Um, we'll see how that goes. So Lynx did a fair bit of damage. I like that. And then we've got the Swordmaster. So that should give Dong Zhao a nice bit of damage. He's going to trigger the bull, but that's okay. And then we'll trigger our ball, which kills them, which triggers his mechanical bird, which hits up the back. But then Dong Zhao still manages to hit. Then the I think the beast will come out now, like the gorilla. Uh, oh. If we silence one of them, that'll be good. Nice. Then we got the cold combo. Should kill one more. And then it's game over. <laughs> I said it's game over. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, we managed to do that with upgrading some of the characters. And um, so thank you for those suggestions. Maybe it does matter. You, you probably do need to improve some of your character. I, I do feel like it is RNG based a little bit, but for sure the links helped uh, being able to unlock that second one. Um, do I need to accept any of these missions here or can I accept them elsewhere? I mean, we it's locked. Why is it unlock? Unlock. Okay, there we go. So apparently you need to go do this in the other realm. Um, what else can we do? Is it the gorilla dude? Where's the gorilla dude? Hello, gorilla dude? Can I fight you? Hmm. Defeat chapter five. Damn it. I really wanted to fight him, but I had a feeling that I'd need to unlock this first. Um, so, who wants to watch me do all these things? <laughs> probably not too many people. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll probably leave it there. I don't feel like I can unlock the gorilla, but it would be interesting to see if I can. Um, hmm... Anyway, thank you all for your suggestions. Uh, as I said, I'll probably just be uh, going along behind the scenes here, try to get it done. Probably should increase this speed at some point. But yeah, it appears like uh, after level 70 unlocking, it was a very achievable goal to uh, to get past that, that stage. I did suspect as much, but um, as I said, thank you all for your suggestions, your comments. Please, uh, yeah, please continue to do so. I do endeavor to uh, respond to everyone that I can, um, but I think I'll just plot along and do these ones. Uh, as I said, I really don't think I can do the uh, beast, um, but I will do maybe another little short one if, when I actually do unlock this, just to see how hard it is. I might tie that in with my daily dose. Um, yeah, it looks it looks interesting. It looks like you can get some equipment, which is pretty cool. I wonder I wonder what the drop rate is for that. Um, in terms of uh, <laughs> how much RNG is required here. I actually will upgrade, uh, I feel like, this guy first. Um, mainly because he is not contingent on dying. <laughs> My team member's dying. I feel like he's probably a better better pick in terms of that. Um, 
I quite like him. And I can always regress him later if I go, you know what, he's just not really worth using. Um, <clears throat> how many shards do I have? Probs not enough. Probably not enough. I'm going to keep building the mechanical bird, uh, hopefully for free. <laughs> if not, I might have to spend some uh, ignorance on it. But it is a good investment. So make sure you're doing your daily tasks every day to get your souls um, and make sure you're buying at least one set of epic shards each day with those souls. It will help you overall when you make some progress. Um, but yeah, that was a short one. Thank you all again for your suggestions. And um, if you like this kind of content or if you have any questions or any um, yeah anything in general you'd like to see next, uh, hit me up. But yay, we actually won. <laughs>